obviously Steve Jobs was an amazing turnaround CEO, a great founder CEO as well. Um, but a lot of people think when they think of Dr. Mike Lynch, they think of you as the great academic, uh, the great entrepreneur, tech visionary, but you're also an amazing CEO. Don't forget, you, I mean, you, you, you took um, autonomy into FTSE 100. Uh, you were the CEO of that business for 15 years. Uh, you had a significant exit. So what, looking at the CEO skills of huge companies, not just advice to sort of the small startup companies now, but what advice would you give to CEO of a FTSE 100 company? It's about, it is about the people you have around you. And the biggest mistake people make is they hire people like them. Yeah. Um, the art form is to hire people who are exactly not like you um, because they will bring um, skill sets that are very different, or we would say in the technical world, orthogonal to yours. So, yeah. um, you know, I see this all the time, even with the startups. So, you know, I, I give lectures at the Judge Institute at Cambridge, and the MBA class will come up afterwards, and there'll be five of them, and they're identical, and they'll tell me about their new wonderful company. And it will do something, you know, beautifully presented, but the idea is crazy, a toothpaste your door dot com or something, right? And you just say to them, 200 yards up the road is the engineering department. There are people in there doing amazing things. They don't look like you. They don't use the words you use, yeah. um, but they're doing amazing things. Now, two of you go there and <laughs> two of them come here and you'll yeah. have an interesting company. Yeah. And so the, the thing about building the team, which is actually how you get the success, it's not down to one person, is about appreciating that each of us have different things we bring to the party mm -hmm. and trying to get everything in your image Mm. It's a big mistake. Yeah, like Steve Jobs hiring Steve Wozniak. Couldn't yeah. be more different, the two yeah, of them, absolutely could Absolutely right, no. Yeah. If it was a Jobs and a Jobs, maybe we wouldn't have had Apple. As, as no, I think that's absolutely true. And, and Tom Peters, who interviewed the US management, he said that very often, even throughout the organizational hierarchy, people go for lunch with the same people mm -hmm. every time they go for lunch. And you're not going to learn or get a different perspective on anything. I think yeah. that's, that's spot on. But I suppose you've got to be quite secure as a manager to do, you know, to hire. We talk about the mavericks, hiring in those mavericks that could be star performers or disasters um, because they will be creative people. So you've got to, it starts with secure leadership. And yes, and, and coming back to what we were talking about culture, you have to have a culture where people appreciate yeah. doing a moonshot and failing is a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> because occasionally you hit the moon. That's right. Um, whereas often corporate cultures, are, as soon as you stick your head above the parapet, it's going to be shot off. Yeah.